Hey, what's up guys? So today I am going to be doing a lot of things. I got to finish the car today so I can shoot and stuff. Um, so first I'm going to get the hood vents out of the way. Uh, you can use this as a little tutorial for the hood vents as well. Uh, nice guy from Russia sent these over. Uh, original vents that I originally used on the car. It's just they're new. Because you remember the old vents, they got over sprayed and stuff like that. So these do look a whole lot better. Um, obviously first I'm going to be actually cutting slits into this. Uh, you can use these as just like a look vent. But uh, I do need purpose out of them, so I'm going to cut them so that the heat can actually escape out of the engine bay and stuff and improve cooling. Um, and then after that, I'm going to place them. Obviously, the hole, the you know, the holes are already made in my uh, hood. You can refer to my other YouTube video from months, months, months back, but before I even had any real subscribers, of me cutting this hood, taping it off, stuff like that. You know, you just want to use and just be smart, measure a bunch of times, and uh, yeah. It's pretty easy to do. These vents are only about, I think, like $100, and then the shipping's like $30 from Russia. So $130, it's, pretty, it's a pretty great, you know, price. And just like that, all the vents are cut. I didn't want to record it. It's a tedious process. Um, if you're going to do this, I advise just getting a good Dremel and a lot of discs, because you might go through one or two doing this. And wear glasses, because the melted plastic will try to shoot it to your face. And one time... I literally did have like a piece of plastic I, that got stuck right here on the skin of my eye and it didn't detach and it was still like melting plastic so it like burned my eye or like burned the skin of my eye. But yeah, so now that we have these, we can, uh, I think I'm going to get the, take the fiberglass out and cut up, cut up the pieces for them and then I'm probably just going to go ahead and do it. So guys, as you can see, the fiberglass is now on. Uh, I just did like one row of mats all around. I sadly had a, I realized I had no brushes, so I actually found like a paintbrush. So it was kind of really stiff and I was just like jabbing at it. Um, so that kind of made it worse, but we'll see if one layer of fiberglass is enough. Should be enough, it does get pretty strong to hold the vents in for now. They might not be like crazy strong, but if anything, we can take the hood off later and redo this after SEMA. It's just now I'm just trying to assemble the car obviously but anyways while this is drying I'm gonna finish putting the other fender on and then working out the side skirt you know stuff and whatnot As you can see the fenders right there um, but I think I'm gonna take care of the hood first because my grandma's about to like leave in like 40 minutes so I'd rather get the hood on because this is the only thing I actually need help to get on because I don't want to scratch it um, so here are the latches they're sitting in there uh, I got a drill what is it six holes for each latch and then to screw them down. It's all buttoned up as you can see. I'm gonna use my grandma to help me. And uh, I put on a new cowl, because it's easier to do it now. I had to take off the wipers, it's super basic, but this is the new cowl, as you can see all the new plastic. Look at that, compared to this, which is, as you can see, all the all the plastic is like completely ripped apart. It's horrible, it's faded. And then new plastic, new weather stripping, new, there's gonna be new glass there. I haven't put it in yet. But yeah, but anyways, I'm going to put the hood on now and...
camera stopped recording, but I was walking down the driveway from putting on the bumper backwards and I rolled my ankle and just totally toppled down the driveway. Ow. Um, but as you can see, it's together. <laughs> Let me go turn on the halos. Obviously some things oh, like the side skirts aren't done, um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to fix that Skylar's while we wait for the other guy to get off work. It's gonna be doing the video part. car uh, for some reason the as you can see the gas gauge does not work it doesn't even say it doesn't even show a gas light just does not work um, it worked when I was moving it in and out of the garage but whatever I know it's at just below half a tank uh, I have extra money in case of anything I can get gas Like my camera can't focus on the halos for shit. Like it's just it's just a big ass white blur, that's all. They're really bright. Oh, they're pretty good. Yeah, yours actually captures them. Uh, so, uh, for, so for SEMA, yeah, they yeah. told us, um, obviously there's a bunch of after parties and stuff like that. Yeah. And then he just messaged us and he's like, oh, one of, do you, have you heard of Mick, Mick Lloyd clutches? Mick Lee, M-C-L-E-O-D. No. I don't know, it's like, know. they sponsor NASCAR, and they're like, oh, we're inviting you guys to a NASCAR experience Tuesday well, from 5 to 10 p.m. And you get, to, you get to drive around the Las Vegas, well, you don't get to drive, but you get like a ride along in a NASCAR going like 170 plus around the Las Vegas Speedway, and I could do it in this. No, no I wish, I wish I could do it in that. And they also said that they're gonna give us like GoPros to like vlog our adventures. And I was oh, like, so yeah, yeah, so like, I don't, like, I'm gonna bring this camera, but like, I don't know if I'm gonna really need it at SEMA. I'd rather vlog with a GoPro than vlog with this thing, because it's annoying to carry. GoPros are, are small, but the thing is, the coloration is kind of weird. Coloration. I thought, if anything, like, if, I, I know, like, on a GoPro, if you look at a car like this, it's, like, small. Everything yeah. appears really small. And but, it's like, wide too. yeah, it's, it's a wide angle lens. It's for, like, action. But they said, like, they were gonna, like, do all those stuff and document it like that and they said that I can use the footage for my YouTube and they actually encouraged me to use it for my YouTube so that's pretty cool um so we're gonna have like shirts that match it's kind of sounds kind of gay but I'm just kidding um but yeah he's doing his work go follow him on YouTube um is it is it Seabones345 yeah I know you have another channel for just photography or another Instagram but no. I don't know how many no. how many subscribers do you have now four or something Bro. no I'm fi 544 <laughs> Yo, we get me to a thousand. He had, bro. he had like 200 subs when I started this YouTube thing with the car. When I had like a thousand subs. It's because you're the only one that's actually done like a real, like BMW GTR thing. We have a that's Discord why. No server. No one else on YouTube. Like they'll put up like a. Three they have one video. video. They have one video, and it's like this car that's like it's a stock. Like I think it's a convertible too. It's a stock M3 convertible. Oh, that's horrible. And they wrapped it all white, and they just did the livery, and that's it. It looks really weird. I have no idea what to do about the side skirt. Um, obviously, it's the OEM skirt, which is flat with that, which isn't flat. Uh, I do not have the extension on here yet. Rear bumper fits okay on this side, but it still fits like crap here, but I got it to at least sit up. I need to do something to get it like that. 
Uh, extension is here on this side. I have to just put on uh, two rivets right there where I drilled the holes. Uh, the skirt looks a little bit better on this side, but still kind of boo-boo gaga. Maybe I'll just say that they're vents or something like that. But yeah, it's it's been really nice driving it again. It's it's kind of awkward though because everyone just looks at you, and I had like a truck like honk his horn, and I wonder if they actually know. Do you think people do you think people on the street know what this is from? Like the reference, or they're they just like, yo, that's a modified car. Some, some people that are our age and play the game would actually know. Yeah, because you know, like the new, new generation yeah, of kids, no. like, don't they haven't played like the old Need I for Speed? I mean, some of them have, but. I mean, like, my like my girlfriend's dad, who's probably like, I don't know, in his late 40s, he, he understood the reference. I was like, do you know what Need for Speed Most Wanted is? He's like, yeah, he's like, it's the car from there. I was like, okay, good. He is a car guy though, so I assume he's played games when he grew up. No, why would you We're say recording. something like that? We're going to SEMA with no motor. <laughs> luckily, yeah, luckily we can get, if it is an alternate, we can probably get one from AutoZone within the day. Or within a thought we were over there somewhere. Car broke. Oh man, yo, we're still going to SEMA though. Fuck the bullshit. Hopefully you can bleep that out. We're not well, going I'm to not SEMA. Going, but... So, on top of all of this, I now lost my wallet and don't even have it. What? I don't have my wallet. What the um, wallet is I left. <laughs> I I left it in my door card, which is I leave it right here, but it's cut open. So when I swing open the door, it could have fallen out. So now we're now we're trying to pinpoint my wallet because the insurance is in there. For me to be able to seat? tow this Did you thing. Check under the seat? No, it wouldn't have fallen under there, would it have? I don't know, from the bumps? Nah, there's no way. No, because this hey, got, this I, sits against this. I'm there's no way. I'm skinning your leg. Okay, so we took off the main belt now. It's not off, it's loose okay. though. Oh, it's loose. Yeah. It's definitely the hook, that belt, because I took the tension off the belt, but yeah. I didn't get the belt off, so it's still they on. Took there. Off so the now belt. it's spinning, so it's definitely well, not off. So it is the main belt. Yeah, it was the main belt. Okay. And now let's go ahead. It's not moving at all. all right. Whatever whatever it is, it wasn't moving at all. This so, belt right here is not moving. That belt doesn't have any tension. Oh, I see that it's not what? moving. It's fucking on fire. Damn it. Was well, it's... The, the well, thing... Not moving? Took off the belt. I don't know, I can't tell. The thing that wasn't... The thing that was moving was the crank, and that was smoking the belt. Yeah, well, That's yeah, what it's doing. Not not what it is. Is. Yeah, but it's stuck on something. Yeah. I took... Because I took the tensioner, like, off where it's loose, so it'll it'll just spin. Well, the tow truck is coming in 20 to 25. They said it's a flatbed, so... You're not driving it any, anyway. Yeah, I can't drive it. If, if, I could cut the belt, but I'll only make it so far before I overheat or lose electricity. Same thing. Don't cut the block. Don't cut the holes. Oh, this one right here, yeah. you want cut? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> the shits are hard as hell to cut. You ever done that? What, hoses? What do you have a beer? <laughs> I'm fucking thirsty. It's a soda. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, he literally got me to, uh, what is it?
the car is now back home safe in the driveway. And it's good, not really, but um, it's the water pump. I called my local AutoZone. It's like a special order item, so they're not going to have it. So tomorrow morning at 8 or something like that, i got to call all the dealerships, BMW dealerships in the area. I'm sure one of them has to have the water pump for an M3. Even if I have to drive an hour or two, I'll go get it. And then Dan's getting off work early tomorrow, so luckily he can help me because he's the mechanical guru and I do all the paint and bodywork crap, basically. So yeah, so that's really it. I'm just going to end the video now and we'll pick up tomorrow because I've got to make this car run by Saturday so I could go to SEMA. Kai, close the video out.